Yes, my friends. I'm Professor Kumar, and you are learning at Galaxy Online Learning. We are on chapter number two, reproduction in lower and higher organisms, and we had to break because of projector disturbance. So we will go back here. Write a note on puberty or sexual maturity. First, we'll see it in males because we are dioecious. Morphology is different. First. What is puberty? Age at which reproductive system becomes functional. Sexual organs produce gametes and sex hormones. Male 12 to 15 years. Hormone required testosterone. Then secondary character will appear. No testosterone, secondary character won't appear. Then throughout life it will work. What are there? Skin gets oilier, shoulders get wider, facial hair, hair under the arms, pubic hair. Neck, chest and leg muscles get bigger and stronger, penis gets longer and wider and testes get larger. For your knee, you don't need so many. Okay? But these are the changes. In a female, first, puberty makes the reproductive system functional. First menstrual cycle is called menarche. 10 to 14 years, cyclical changes in the reproductive system. Up to menopause when the cycle stops, 45 to 50 years. Menarche to menopause is the reproductive age. They cannot reproduce after menopause. They cannot reproduce before menarche. 32 years approx from 13 to 45 approx. Female can produce 416 eggs mathematically for need purposes. And she, after menopause, she is supposed to be unable to bear. Now it is putting hormones and in vitro fertilization. We have overcome even this. Please read menarche. Menstruation and menopause are controlled by gonadotropic hormones. One month. Okay. Then menstrual cycle is seen in primates, including man. Also called ovarian cycle. Cyclical changes keeps repeating after a time. Gonadotropins are responsible with ovarian hormones. Periodicity 28 days. In the middle, egg is released ovulation. Changes before the egg release, changes after the egg release. Egg comes from any one of the two ovaries at a time, not both. Cycle has got four phases. Menstrual, proliferative, ovulatory, secretory. Okay. Let's have a look. So these are the days 0 to 28 divided into four phases as you can see. And uh, hormone levels... Uh, LH, luteinizing hormone, follicle stimulating hormone, FSH can be seen. They peak in the middle. Low, highest, low. Okay. Then see the ovary. Pre-ovulatory, ovule is formed. Ovulation, ovule is released. Corpus luteum is formed. Let us look at the ovary hormones. Estrogen and progesterone. Please have a look. Switch over. Highest, lowest. Switch over. And the lowest becomes highest. This comes down. Okay, this is the switch required to destroy the first grow the wall up, and then after that here it will destroy the wall. Okay, so menses wall breaks down, proliferation it starts growing, proliferates, secretory we will secrete the ovule, then fertilization, etc. Four stages. Menstrual phase, first phase. Okay, we are talking about the first phase first. Takes approx five days. 45 to 100 ml blood is lost. Prostaglandins are released because progesterone and estrogen become less. Okay, remember that less. The less. Blood, tissue, fluid, mucus, endometrial lining, unfertilized egg is discharged to the vagina along with menstruum, the blood. And this is called funeral of the unfertilized egg for need purposes. Endometrium increases in thickness. During these five days, okay, many primary follicles develop into primary and few of them into secondary follicles because of FSH now increase. Okay. And this blood does not clot in menstrual cycle because fibrinolysin is there, but the amount is not sufficient. So blood clots may form in female where blood content is more during menstruation. We are talking of normal values. Proliferative phase. We are talking of this phase now. Second phase. 5 to 13 days. Now it becomes a graphene follicle. Estrogen is secreted. You can see estrogen is started secreting. 
other secondary follicles degenerate. We already have seen atresia. Only one develops at one time, other becomes slaves and they feed. We need GnRH which stimulates FSH, the stimulating factor. Then this gets to regenerate. Estrogen we will see goes up. Okay. And this is called repair. Endometrial or uterine gland, the network of blood vessels start developing. And thickness now, as you can see, is 3 mm. It has reached at this stage. Ovulatory phase, we are at third phase. <coughs> Shortest phase, the middle one. Rupture, an egg is released. And 14th day, LH shoots up. Utilizing feedback mechanism, then only it will burst. Ovulation has mild or severe pains in the abdomen. Endometrium keeps growing. Secretory phase, fourth phase, your longest phase. Okay, and graphene follicle becomes corpus luteum at this stage. And uh, endometrium is now 8 to 10 mm thick. Okay, and vascularized heavily. If no fertilization, this is ready to implant, huh? no fertilization, it will form albicats, okay, white, shrink. Inhibin will stop FSH, okay, FSH will go down. And if ovum is fertilized, embryo is implanted. Now we require HCG, chorionic gonadotropin hormone, so that this remains, this does not become albicats. Presence of HCG in your mother's blood or urine is indicator of pregnancy. This is the test to be performed where two red lines will appear and pregnancy is indicated. If no fertilization, we will start again. Cycle repeats. How are gametes formed? Gametogenesis defined. Formation of gametes in sexually reproducing animals. Spermatogenesis for sperms and oogenesis for ova. Occurs by meiosis. You become haploid from diploid. And you begin with primordial germ cells, which we have already seen in the early diagrams. Let's start with spermatogenesis. First, formation of the sperm, male gamete. Second, at puberty under GnRH. GnRH initiates FSH. And remember, FSH in female or male doesn't make a difference, follicle stimulating hormone. Induces spermatogenesis. What are the three phases? First, multiplication. Multiplication. Okay, so the diploid cells become spermatogonia. They deployed. 46. Second, growth. They become primary spermatocytes. Now, okay, they are also still deployed. A lot of food they are having. Third, maturation. The primary follicle forms two haploid, two. Okay, secondary, and now they are, now you can see, they are already in. Okay, and then they get transformed through the process of spermatogenesis, spermatid, and spermatozoa, etc. 2N, 2N, N, N, Ns, Ns. Remember for exam labeling, which is 2N, which is N, which is a stage before, which is a stage after. Pathways are very important for need purposes. Let us see the change in the sperm spermiogenesis. Okay, first you have a round cell which is now haploid. Then you see centrioles develop. Then a tail is developing. You can see. Then the mitochondria comes on the side and wraps around. See the cytoplasm decreasing. Becomes like a small this. And finally the cytoplasm disappears. And the sperm will add middle piece and tail is formed. What is the structure of sperm? Draw a diagram. Label the part, etc. First head. You can see on top. It is oval, it contains a capital acrosome which contains hyaluronic acid which will make a hole in the ovum wall for the sperm to enter. Okay, neck you can see it's got mitochondria. Okay, oh sorry, neck is small and it's got a centriole, and then the middle piece has got this actually coiled mitochondria 14 to 14. And since they were discovered, it was named it Neberkern, which we call mitochondria today. Now we know it's mitochondria, it provides the energy for swimming to the sperm. Tail, you can see the slender, long, containing cytoplasm, and fine thread like eggshell filament inside is present, which helps it to move. Okay, and comes from the distal centriole. 
proximal Einstein period, then there's a distal which we, we can't draw all in one diagram, okay, which guides the movement. Sideways view, so that axial filament can be seen. This is how we draw it the exam. Okay, same thing. Diagrammatic. Let's see how egg is formed. First, haploid egg from meiosis three stages. Primary diploid cells like sperm same first form oogonium in embryo. Growth, oogonia stop, they increase in size and become primary host cells. They get endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi, mitochondria, increase, growing stage. See the diagram? Follicle development before birth, then childhood, what happens? So we can see all happening perfectly, okay? Uh, oogonium, see how diploid, 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 then they, they divide, and those are now polar bodies, we don't get like sperm more numbers only one egg is formed at one time then fertilize and then they divide fertilization shows that only after that it can divide again so it stops and then continues meiosis 2 completes only if it is fertilized okay the diagram can only be completed if it is fertilized and all the polar bodies degenerate okay if you fertilize okay all are not fertilized so it, it will stop at that stage have a look primary uh, follicle uh, growing follicle, mature follicle, ovulation, that stage. So stages are matched with the diagram for understanding. We are interested in maturation phase. First, it has meiosis 1 and meiosis 2. It is peculiar because they have unequal division of cytoplasm. One becomes a polar body and we saw one becomes the egg. First polar body remains on top of the home, nothing, does nothing. Then Secondary oocyte undergoes meiosis 2 and stops. Only fertilize, it will complete. Okay, now two unequal daughter cells are formed large oom and second polar body. Oom is the female gamete. Okay, occurs in the ampulla of fallopian tube at fertilization. Don't forget for need purposes. Completion of meiosis 2 and completion of fertilization go hand in hand. If no sperm, it is shared along with the menstruum at that stage only. Again, to complete you all at a time to show you what meiosis 1, meiosis 2, same diagram but simplified and only details which you require are kept. Have a look at the change before birth, uh, uh, puberty and fertilization, what are the changes seen? And the diagrams for oogenesis for your board exam, label the diagram, this is required. So label the part and the labeling. Okay. Kind level of primary, secondary, egg and cyclic. Here both are compared for studying. So that you can study what is equivalent. Because equivalent is asked in the neat exams. Okay. Same both the diagrams have just been brought together for your comparison. Secondary oocyte short growth actually is the ovulated egg which has come out, non cleodoic uh, and micro lecithal, small lecithin or fat is there. Uh, point one round, non motile, cannot move on its own. Nucleus is large and is called germinal vesicle. And typical nucleus or pro nucleus is formed at the time of fertilization only. Cytoplasm of egg is called ooplasm, it has no centriole, it has got many covering. Let us have a look at the diagram. Okay, diagram of O1 asked in the exam. Corona radiata outside zona pellucida. Then we have a periventriline space uh, remaining, and then we have got that polar body remaining earlier. Voila. And then you can see we have got cortex and cortical granules and cytoplasm. This structure is called secondary oocyte. Again, egg membrane is called vital line membrane. Okay. The egg membrane and it secretes okay uh, zona pellucida outside outside the blue and outside that is the corona radiata cells which are stuck to it but and by hyaluronic acid between the white line and this is the peri white line space the first polar body is always found here egg shows polarity for neat where there is germinal vesicle and first polar body is called the animal pole and the opposite is called the vegetal pole. You will see the embryology, what do these poles mean? 
fertilization what happens okay so you can see cells of corona radiate are shared and uh, polar body is still outside sperm enters so when it has start coming as you can see it touches the reaction will occur which we will study and the completes the meiosis the egg okay fertilization means fusion of male and female gamete to become diploid it is internal occurs inside the body it takes place in ampulla of the fallopian tube it will become an embryo and this process occurs within the uterus Sperms are released during ejaculation in semen and they can fertilize the ovum. Sperms live for 24 to 48 hours and the ovum can survive for 24 hours a day. How does fertilization occur? First, the sperm move towards the egg. Through the vagina, 50% are destroyed because of the acidic nature. Remaining undergo capacitation 5 to 6 hours. Okay? Capacitation means what? They acquire the ability to fertilize. Acrosome becomes thin. Calcium enters the sperm. Tails start whiplash movement. Prostaglandins activate the sperms. Vestibular secretion of the female also enhances the motility. They become extra active and they can move up to the ovary duct. After capacitation in 5 minutes they will reach the ampulla. Otherwise they will die. They don't reach. Okay. Second. Once they have reached they will enter the egg. We are showing you the so single egg can reach the ovum. Ah, others will lost in various stages. After reaching, it will lie on the side. Lies on the side. Acrosome will release all the head will release all the lysins, your uh, ronidase and corona penetrating enzyme. They will dissolve the cells of those membrane, corona radiata, and then it will pass to zona pellucida. Fertilizing is there which binds to anti fertilizer and holds that sperm. This is species specific. So a sperm of one species cannot fertilize the ovum of another species. That is why species is defined as sexually breeding organisms. This reaction is also called compatibility reaction. If you are not compatible, sperm will be killed at this stage. Acrosome reaction. As it touches the zona pellucida, it releases acrosome. Then zona pellucida will be dissolved. Egg reaction occurs. A fertilization cone is formed, like a cone like thing is formed. Now the sperm head touches the cone. Plasma membrane dissolves and only the nucleus and centrioles enter into the ovum. Now when it touches, a cortical reaction causes a change. Okay, by deactivating sperm receptors, no more sperms can now be attached. So we can't have multiple fertilization. Perivitaline space will be kept. Like how you have a moat around a castle, you cannot enter. This prevents polysperming, so your diploid nature will be protected. Show you all the changes here. See, touching, cutting, entering, line by side when it is just touching the membrane. Then you are dissolving and only the nucleus and centrioles uh, and cortical granules and all, all, all the changes are. Diagram required for labeling and understanding purpose. Fertilization, acrosomal process. What does acrosome do? I told you an extremely nice and clear note and diagrams I have incorporated from everywhere. I compile, I do not write all these. Fertilization shown in a chart, how same thing, everything else is shown. What is happening? What is the path? Because they ask in the exam, meet the path. Of the sperm cell, how it passes into the egg. Okay, then activation of the ovum. Before fertilization, remember it was at metaphase 2. When the sperm egg touches it, it gets activated and completes the meiosis 2. Second polar body is now formed. See, there was one, now two are formed. Then the germinal vesicle organizes into female pronucleus. See that nucleus like thing becomes a proper structure. Okay, now this is true ovum or egg and 100% chance of fertilizing. Female pronucleus, polar body 2, polar body, actual photograph of the egg showing you how these things are related. See the moat like thing which has been developed. Fusion. After the two, sorry for the diagram sideways because we don't fit with this, but you can have a look. How we are, you know how meiosis occurs. So, syn carry on, syn gamete as you learn in plants also, same thing, plasmogamy, 
karyogamy, zygote, same like plant, okay, proximal centriole forms a synchorion spindle and cleavage of the cell occurs into two, two blastomias, okay, after fusion, immediate changes in the egg, okay, then have a look, oocyte ovulation, then fertilization and activation, pronucleus getting formed, then cleavage class spindle apparatus laid out and then the metaphase complete and two blastomeres are developed out of it. 30 hours after fertilization, if they separate at this stage, you will have twins. Okay. Significance of fertilization. First, secondary oocyte completes the process, as you know, it was stuck at meiosis too. Diploid number is restored. Third, centrio they didn't have the sperm brought along. Fourth, fertilization from two parent variation and evolution. And last, your male or a female will now depend what the mm, sperm nucleus contains. Embryonic development. The zygote is now activated to divide. We already saw the first uh, division occurring. Now, when like 32 cell stage etc is reached, it is a blastula and those are called blastomeres. There is no growth phase between cleavage. Cells will become smaller and smaller, but they won't grow back to size. Size will keep decreasing. Metabolic rate increase, they have to, you know, eat faster now. Subsequent cleavages are faster. The first one is slow, 30 hours. There is rapid replication of DNA and high consumption of oxygen. Process of cleavage is holoblastic, whole, not half, complete. Longitudinal is called meridional. Equatorial is called horizontal. It is radial, like radius. Okay? And indeterminate. We do not know. Now, till the uh, blastomere migrate and reach another stage, we do not know what will form what. First cleavage is meridional. 30 hours. Divides into two uneven blastomere. One slightly larger than the other. Second is also here, but perpendicular. Okay, third is horizontal, eight cell stage is formed. Then the young embryo is pushed towards the uterus. Fourth day, he is like a solid ball and is called morula. Okay, uh, like a mulberry. And it has two small cells and big cells. Okay, till now it has zona pellucida. So size does not change. Now it enters the isthmus, the neck and get, gets into the uterus at the end of day 4. Now, what happens after end of day 4? Blastulation, a hollow multicellular blastulation is formed. Outer layer are tropoblast, dark brown, and they absorb the glycogen-rich uterine milk from the wall of the uterus, doubles in size, cavity is formed, and uh, larger cells form inside, embryonic mass, okay? The trophoblasts are outside. They are called cells of robber after the scientist. And it is showing polarity. Embryonal end and abembryonal end. After seven days, it is fully formed. Okay, and now ready for implant. So it will make finger like and get implanted. Then zona pellucida bursts and moves away. Till then it was there to stick it. We will have a look once again. First, then two cell, four cell. Then you will see 8 or 16 cell, and now you can see uh, morula, then blasto, seal, blast, bl the cavity, blastocyst, okay, and then we can see uh, embryonic pore, uh, where the, as you see, the heavier side is implanted, and the other embryonic pore opposite, okay. Implantation, see how it implants. Seventh day till the tenth day. It gets buried inside the wall of the uterus. It normally tries to implant in the fundus. It may implant outside, mouth, anywhere. Those are ectopic pregnancies. But normal is this. Attached by embryonal pole, the heavier side where the cells are there. Okay. The tropoblast tick to and then you can see a knob-like structure is formed. This is cytotropoblast. Okay. They give out processes, you can see fingers like things coming out, okay. They secrete enzymes which can help it to burrow, 
kill the cells, make hole through which they will enter. That is how it fits into the wall of the uterus. Side view, so you can see everything. Okay, everything can be seen. What are those uterine glands? Also, I have shown you, and see how the membrane, uh, tropoblast, intubulast, amnion, cavity. Eight days after fertilization, it looks something like this. This almost more than 50 percent into the wall of the uterus with fingers taking more space. After this gastrulation stage, rate of cleavage slows down, begins 8 days after fertilization and two changes take place. First, blastomia are separated into three germinal layers, ectoderm, mesoderm, endoderm. Second, they start moving, morphogenetic movement. They have to now decide what they have to become. Cells on the inner cell mass, hypoblast, or primitive, which will become endoderm, primitive endoderm become flat, divide, and grow towards the blastocele. This is called endoderm. It forms a yolk sac like structure. Remaining, which are in contact with cells of robber outside, are called epiblast. Okay? Inside, outside. Okay? Outside will become ectoderm, and the sandwich where both join are called embryonary disc. Now, they divide such. Okay, that a cavity is formed between the two layers. The two layers form a cavity. This is called the amniotic cavity. And the floor of the cavity has a disc. Okay. I'll show you with the diagram now. See how they are dividing. Can you see how cavity is formed? Okay. Uh, by two layer embryonic disc. And it's supposed to be hanging with fluid there. Okay. So embryonal ectoderm. Amniogenic cells forming amnion and amniotic cavity and yolk sac are formed. So, cavities, two cavities, two names. Okay. More nice diagram. Diagrammatic, of course, that was more like realist. So, first solid wall is morula, then cells divide and form blastocysts at one end to implant. Then uh, you can see how two layers got formed. Okay. Perfect day 10. And then in between, you can see now a third layer by division getting formed and two cavities result. Three germ layer stage. Then, actual graduation occurs 15 days after. The two layer wala becomes three layers. But this also gives cells and see how they divide and third layer is formed. Now, it begins with the formation of a primitive streak. We find a groove on the top. Primitive stream and a primitive groove is formed, which will help us to form the mesoderm inside. This tree goes like this. You know, you can see the streak in details. Goes like this, like a slice. Okay, okay. Now it will form a blastopore at the end. So it has three layers: ectoderm, endoderm, and mesoderm. After this, organs are formed and we call it organogenesis. Let's have a look once again. First, you can now see primitive streak, how a groove is formed and how movement occurs. See, because earlier you could not see this groove getting formed. And see how now the cells move into the groove and how mesoderm is formed. Diagram will help you to understand. We do not require so many diagrams to be drawn for the theory exam. What happens to the three layers? Ectoderm gives rise to epidermis, skin, hair, nail, sweat gland, salivary gland, mammary gland, all the glands are there. Okay? We have everything in our system. Mesoderm forms muscles, except, remember the except part, iris and ciliary muscles, which come from ectoderm. And the middle layer of your skin, etc., lymph, all middle things. Endoderm develops from the inside gland, stomach, mid gut, bag, all the organs mainly. You have to know exception and the organs in definite one question comes arises from. So I may ask you, eustachian tube is formed from? You have to say endoderm. Okay, so you must know the uh, germ layer and the organ it forms. What is pregnancy? It is called gestation in biology. You may carry more than one every, you may have two children, three children, etc. <clears throat> Average period is 266 days, 38 weeks after fertilization. 
or 20 to 80 days or 40 weeks counted from your last menstrual cycle. The pregnancy period is approximately 9 months and we divide it into 3 trimesters, 3 periods. First trimester from fertilization to the 12th week, it receives nutrients, organogenesis occurs and structures are formed. It is now called a fetus, 3 centimeter long and looks like a small human being. Fetus can swallow, open, close mouth, can open the fist, complete central nervous system is formed, excretory system works, circulatory system starts and it can move slightly but mother cannot feel because the size is too small. Heartbeat can be heard from 6th week by that stethoscope of course. Progesterone becomes high, menstrual cycle is suspended now and by 3 months he is 7 to 10 centimeters long. Okay. Have a look. How almost we don't need details, but uh, interesting that's why I want to show you. This is how you looked. Have a look. See how the eye starts appearing, how the lip buds start appearing, how the tail goes away. Something goes and something comes. All organisms have a similar beginning. That is why we believe in evolution by because of that. Okay. What shows you 20 days approximately 3 weeks, 4 weeks, 8 weeks, 12 weeks. Okay. Now, mother's body also changes. Progesterone brings about changes in the reproductive system. Placenta grows. Uterus becomes larger. Now she starts getting morning sickness. So we are showing how this, these changes are occurring in the mother. Mother system. Okay. This is the uterus. I will show you changes to the cardiac. Second period, 13 to 26 week becomes 30 centimeters, okay, and brain begins, is half the size of the newborn, so roughly 12 inches, and uh, uterus becomes now obvious that pregnancy is there, and progesterone maintains the pregnancy. We can take that ultrasound sonography and uh, predict the date of delivery, we can now know exactly what stage he is. Movements now are felt that he is kicking, he is moving. Now he has hair, eyebrows, eyelashes, and ear, pinna outside ear can be seen. Can you see? Okay. Third trimester, 27 weeks to delivery. Now it becomes 3 to 4 kg, 50 centimeter, eyes are open, there is gain in body weight, uterus is expanding because the baby is growing, and mother's organs get compressed and displaced. They move in and up and down. And fetus becomes fully developed and ready to be this now can see. So we are trying to show you all the stages for your interest and for need of course 12 week what happened, 16 week what happened, 20 week what happened, 24 week what happened, 28 week what we are going by 4 4 weeks. So it's easy for you to see the changes. So what develops special only special changes are put for need purposes. For example, eyes open and close, but eyelids remain fully open. Now they don't close. Okay, so this is the changes they normally ask in the need exam. We don't need for theory. Placenta short, not very important. Flat, disc like of the uterus, temporary till delivery only. Connects the child with the mother inside, supplies oxygen and nutrients, removes carbon dioxide and excretory waste, endocrine tissue, HCG, progesterone, and estrogen it produces. Otherwise, that baby won't grow and pregnancy won't be maintained. How does it look? Please have a look. See, vein from the fetal. You can see fetal vein and fetal, they come down and they join with the mother's blood vessel. Please see that they don't join them, and they overlap each other for exchange. Okay? And we have intervillous space or lacunae. We have mother's maternal artery and maternal vein. So that is the exchange across, across the blood vessel. Okay? And uh, all these finger like processes are called chorionic villus. Now this is what we require. Placenta is attached to the wall of the uterus and the baby's umbilical cord. It is the only organ formed with two tissues, mother's tissue and baby's tissue. And this is fetal placenta, this is chorionic villi. Okay, and other is uterine wall is maternal placenta, the dark red. Okay, hemochorial because blood vessels are coiled around it and come from the both sides. 
then umbilical cord is formed with three blood vessels. Okay, two are small arteries which carry blood towards the placenta and one is a vein which brings ureters blood to the fetus. So you can see oxygen for need purposes. You don't need for theory. Okay, again for need purposes, umbilical vein carries oxygenated blood, umbilical artery, okay, uh, and again pick up oxygen from the placenta and so that for need purposes, not for theory. But I put all details so that you don't have to read again and again. Parturition, we are viviparous, we give birth, there is labor, labor pains and neuroendocrine mechanism is involved. Now, signal come from the fetus, I am ready to develop. Placenta causes the contractions with hormones. Estrogen progesterone ratio changes. Oxytocin receptors in uterus changes. Then, adrenocorticotropic hormone ACTH from the pituitary and corticosteroids from adrenal release. They release oxytocin from mother's pituitary gland. Okay, and contraction begins, and the uterus, the baby is expelled. Let us see the stages which we require for exam. Dilation stage. The uterine contraction begins with top, and the baby is pushed down. Compression of blood vessels, so there are pain to the mother. Oxytocin induces the contraction, they become stronger and stronger. Babies keep pushing. The head comes near the cervix and the cervix gets dilated. 2 cm, 3 cm dilated. Vagina also dilates. Up to few hours. Okay, then amniotic membrane of the fetus will break or water will rush out. I'm showing you my diagram. You can see head is pushing. Dilation of the cervix occurs. Then amniotic fluid will break. Head comes out. Placenta still and placenta will be a good running around and the baby is delivered. So stage 1, stage 2 and stage 3. Expulsion stage. Uterus and abdominal both contract. The baby comes out through the cervix and vagina. Head forward direction is normal delivery. 20 to 60 minutes. And umbilical cord is tied and cut next to the baby's navel. And after the delivery, the placenta is pushed out. After birth, because it, it just keeps contracting, occurs within 10 to 45 minutes. Lactation. Now milk will be produced, prolactin is responsible so that a new one can be fed immediately. First milk is called colostrum, it is a sticky yellowish fluid. It contains protein, lactose and mother's antibody. Fat content is low for the baby. This gives him resistance because his immune system is not yet developed. So this milk is very important. Reproductive health. People have normal reproductive organs, normal emotion, and normal sex related behavior. So we must attain total reproductive health. India was one of the few countries which have made a program and we put chapters in the syllabus, we teach ethics, etc. Reproductive and child health, RCH, full form, one mark required. And, uh, is the one who controls these programs. Goals so of RCH. What does RCH? Two marks. First, awareness. Second, facilities. Third, support. Fourth, change in mental thinking indicators. Total inf uh, infertility rate should reduce. Child death should reduce. Mother's death should reduce. How to get all these, what does the RCH do? Audio video, they show you all these movies, pictures, print, in paper movies, TV, etc. Educate the young children and all, pregnant women, breastfeeding guy importance. You see, actors also come speak. Awareness due to problems, okay, all these crimes and abuse. The statutory ban, no finding sex of the child, a uh, machine will be confiscated, you'll be fined, and your license will be revoked. A child immunization program, they tell you all that how many drops of polio and when to vaccinate, etc. We educate couples to reduce mortality rate of newborn when they just go for their first checkup to the doctor. They are given a thorough lecture and audiovisual presentation. Birth control. Birth control to prevent unwanted pregnancy. An ideal contraceptive should be easily available, user friendly, effective, and should not have side effects. We have two types, temporary, permanent. 
टेम्प्ररी आर नेचुरल मेथड सेफ मेथड और रिदम मेथड ओके ओनली फर्टिलाइजेशन अकर्स ओनली इन सर्टन पीरियड ऑफ द वीक विच यू सी मेंशनल साइकिल एट अदर टाइम यू आर नॉट फर्टाइल कॉइटस इंटररप्टर्स ऑफ विड्रॉल यू विड्रॉ बिफोर द सीमेन इज डिपॉजिटेड थर्ड लैक्टेशनल एमनोरिया व्हेन यू आर ब्रेस्ट फीडिंग द चाइल्ड यू नो कॉर्पस ल्यूटियम एंड ऑल इज रिटेक्ट सो यू विल नॉट बी वेरी फर्टाइल केमिकल मींस यू यूज फर्टिसाइड्स केमिकल्स एंड मैकेनिकल मींस यूज बैरियर व्हिच प्रिवेंट लाइक कंडोम डायफ्राम एंड इंट्राइट्राइन डिवाइस then we also have physiological devices or you can take some tablet etc other contraceptives etc and we have hormonal methods which are surgical we can see the rate so these are the uh, few points on it these are the failures or positive and negative points on it please have a look okay Next plan on put under the skin of the arm, so you don't have to keep taking. It contains progesterone and estrogen, just like pill. But you may forget the pill. Here you don't forget anything. It is implanted in your body. Hormonal methods are surgical. In males, I just cut the vas deferens, so that sperm can't go up. You can see, and in female, I cut the fallopian tubes and suture them. Rest are left as it is. So now the egg can't come into the uterus. Hundred percent, normally. You are sterilized, and this can't be reversed. Ninety percent, ninety-nine percent. Diagram, of course, required, but you better be aware. Medical termination of pregnancy or induced abortion, unwanted, defective, required. First trimester, it is safe. Okay. Now, whether there is defect or not, we take out some cells from the fetus in the surrounding fluid, amniotic fluid. It is called amniocentesis. After second semester, all it is dangerous for the mother. What is amniocentesis? Number one, take out the amniotic fluid, which will also contain cells of the fetus. Study the chromosome. You can find the sex of the male, whether it is a male or a female. Okay. Now in India, if it is female, we tell them terminate. So it is that is why strictly banned and under control. Okay. So we have just shown you how amniocentesis works, and now you will be able to see the under the microscope. X and Y chromosome, so you know either male or a female. The government has legalized medical termination of pregnancy. What conditions are there? Okay, no, we don't want illegal people, a thirteen-year-old girl or fifteen-year-old girl going and then dying or something like that. Okay, so we require the consent of the woman. Number one, so you can't force. Number two, within first twelve weeks, but before twenty weeks. So for that permission. And you require a doctor's note saying that uh, you know the child is not proper, and birth of the child will cause damage to the child and mother. So without check, you cannot get permission. What are sexually transmitted diseases? STD, short form. They come through sexual intercourse. They also call venereal disease or reproductive tract infection (RTI). They are syphilis and gonorrhea. See the difference between syphilis and gonorrhea. In syphilis, you can see how those small those are formed here, big vesicles of liquid are formed. Okay. Let's have a look. Distribution between syphilis and gonorrhea. Organism Trypanoma pallidum. Organism Neisseria gonorrhea. Both are bacteria. Three to four weeks are required. Two to fourteen days for male and seven to twenty-one days for female. Where it occurs, mucous membrane, mucous membrane. Okay, but here it may also develop in rectum, throat, and eye, and eye special. And symptoms: chance, as I told you, like a small hole, 
and here you will have a blockage, burning sensation, etc. And children born to such mother also will get infection. Huh? Preventive measures, they should be having hygiene, okay, no multiple partners and use a barrier. Okay, and antibiotic use of penicillin, antibiotic use of cefexamine. Infertility, when you cannot naturally produce children, there could be physical reason, you are having genetic problems, immunology problems or psychological problems. Now, you may have polycystic ovary syndrome, you may have hormonal imbalance, or you may have problems in the inner lining of the uterus. In male, sperm count is low or sperm quality is poor. They don't have much tail and they can't swim. Till 78, we had two options, adopt or remain without a child. Today, we have an option. We have you, uh, fertility drugs, we can give you test tube babies we can have, artificial insemination we can have, intrauterine uh, implantation we can have, surrogate mothers we can have. You very well know all your actors and your favorite heroes, all of them, how they are having children nowadays. So, we, we call this assisted reproductive technology. We are helping you with reproduction with technology. First, IVF. Egg and sperm combined in a test tube or a plate. Okay, and uh, zygote up to eight cent we see under microscope. We then implant it. This is what it is showing you actually. Okay, so reach eight stage at least, so it will now survive and then implant it. Okay, test tube baby as you call Zift, zygote intra fallopian transfer. Here, fallopian tubes are blocked. So fertilization does not occur. So you remove the egg from the ovary with a needle and uh, this from the ovary and fertilize it and then transfer it into the uh, this so that uh, it will go through. Okay, set. Gift. Gamete intrafallopian transfer. You take an ovum from a donor because you, you do not produce eggs and put in the fallopian tube of another female who will like a surrogate mother. Here, where the entrance or upper segment is blocked, ovum and sperm are directly injected in the ovary duct. So, blastocyst is formed and normal root, 30% success rate. Okay, one third. ICSI, intracytoplasmic sperm injection. Single sperm is put into the cytoplasm in a laboratory through a micro needle, and now, but the sperm has to naturally penetrate the egg and then it will form. Artificial insemination. We take sperm donated and transfer it to the female cervix. Okay, in vivo, inside the body. But donor sperm is there. IUI, intrauterine insemination. Just like that, here, instead of the cervix, you bring it up to the uterus. So, success rate is high. Sperm bank collects stores human sperms from healthy males and we maintain at liquid nitrogen low temperature. Okay. Adoption, you know very well. You should not be less than 21. There's no old legal upper age. You should be fit and if you cannot produce by any reason, yeah. So I hope the chapter was nice, clear, systematic. Please get back if you need more details or there are difficulties or something you can't comprehend. These are normal lectures. And we are not saying you are abnormal. But if you feel that you need some more details, you have difficulty. Difficult to comprehend any problem, you should communicate. Till we lock up is lifted, which is going to be very smooth. We do not want to waste time. That's why we have started. This helps us to come back to the normal timetable. Okay, so please study. I remind you two things. Press the bell icon. And subscribe so you get notification immediately now lectures of physics chemistry and biology will be added and maths of course uh, one chapter we have already tried adding and uh, please register and collect your notes they form a major part chapter wise as before so that you are also preparing for your board exam okay and we will be registering for need so that need sheets are also being given and whatever is different is also conveyed to you okay thank you